Now, while the concept of fighting dirty might seem contradictory in the principles of self-defence, the situations where employing unconventional tactics can provide advantages and ensure your survival. Now, while it's essential to prioritise non-violent conflict resolution whenever you can, understanding the benefits of fighting dirty can also empower you to defend yourself effectively in life-threatening situations. Now, here are some reasons why fighting dirty can be advantageous. So, first of all, it levels the playing field. In a physical confrontation, there's going to be significant discrepancies in size, strength or skill between you and the aggressor. A fighting dirty will allow you to compensate for these disadvantages by targeting vulnerable areas or exploiting weaknesses in the attacker's defence. Secondly, it creates distraction. So these dirty tactics such as targeting the eyes, biting, ripping, tearing, can create immediate pain and shock, momentarily incapacitating the attacker and providing an opportunity to escape or to gain the upper hand. And thirdly, it inflicts pain and discomfort, obviously. Now, by targeting these sensitive areas of the body, such as the eyes, throat, dirty fighting can cause intense pain and discomfort, disrupting the attacker's focus and their resolve. Also, the next one would be to gain in or to gain psychologically. So the element of surprise and shock of dirty fighting can intimidate or dem demoralise an attacker's undermining their confidence and their aggression. Then we also have survival instinct. So in a life-threatening situation such as assaults, the primary goal is survival. Now, employing these dirty tactics can really be essential for breaking free from an attacker or ensuring your own personal safety. Then we have self-defence in extreme situations. So what I mean by this is in, in situations where traditional self-defence techniques might be ineffective or inefficient, fight, dirt, dirty fighting may be the only viable option for protecting yourself or others from imminent harm. Now you've got to remember now, it's, this is the last resort, so fighting dirty should always be viewed as the last resort when all your other options have been exhausted. So when faced with an imminent threat to life or safety, then the priority is obviously your survival and you must do whatever is necessary to protect yourself or others. So while recognising the potential benefits of fighting dirty in certain situations, it's crucial to emphasise responsible use and ethical considerations. Now, these sort of tactics should only be employed in self-defence or life-threatening scenarios, and you must be prepared to face legal and moral consequences for your actions. Now, training in self-defence should prioritise non-violent conflict resolution, de-escalation, and situational awareness in order to avoid confrontations whenever you can.